So it's day two and uh, I'm just gonna enjoy this coffee while Holly does her workout ritual while we camp. I know she ritual. said I know she said that we were gonna relax, but apparently I'm the only one who's gonna be relaxing this morning. And she'll be uh, getting her sweat on to her 90s funk or 2000s funk, I'm not sure. We're gonna go for a hike in a little bit. Little piggies of eight, dogs of eight. We don't usually eat breakfast, so we're gonna wait and uh, have a good little lunch on our hike. I'm not even sure what we're having. I think it's sandwiches actually on homemade bagels. So That's after we get back. Sure. <laughs> what are we having for lunch? Though? I brought uh, apples, vegetables, dip, crackers. Hopefully find a good spot to take a swim and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna start our hike now. The trail we are doing goes around the whole lake. It's about 14 kilometers. Uh, dogs are excited. They love hiking. We take them out every time we go out. So we're gonna get going on our hike and we plan on stopping for a swim and we plan on stopping to eat probably more than once. Probably more than once though too. And uh, yeah, after that we'll go back and have lunch and then head down to the beach. How many bags you got on there, dear? Uh, all of them. <laughs> My back hurts. We are three and a half kilometers into our hike. And my back hurts. And time for a swim. Yeah, we're already hungry and hot. It is very hot today. It's supposed to be 34 Celsius with the humidity. And we thought that would be a great idea to go for a 14 kilometer hike. You're going to stop and swim, have a snack and keep on going.
toes. We have so far to go still. <laughs> it's okay, we'll have some food and some help. Yeah. Well, I think that's about it for our little snack break. So yeah, we're gonna clean up here. I think we're at one kilometer four and a half. I think. Better say dirty. Oh uh, yeah, we're, no, we're just coming up to the fourth kilometer. I don't know, I think we have 10 kilometers left. I think it's 14. We got at least about 10 kilometers left. So, a little, little under that. There's one more spot that we are going to stop to swim at. We've canoed out to it before. Last year? Uh, the year before. Year before. Two years ago we canoed out to it. We're way over there though. Like, Couldn't tell you how many kilometers it is. More, lots more kilometers. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you guys again on the trail. Yep, see you at the next swimming spot. Well, in case you're wondering, we're still hiking. I'm more, more like crawling. <laughs> I think we're just on kilometer seven. But the bugs are terrible. Yep. I swear to God, three of those kilometers are straight uphill. <laughs> yeah. And we're getting closer to our next stop. We'll check back in when we get there. Everybody's pooped. Yeah, everyone needs a break. <laughs> it's so hot. That's what you get for working out before a long hike. Yeah, it's not even that because I work out before we go hiking all the time. It's just so hot today. Well, we're not quite at that spot yet. We're just taking a quick water break, enjoying a bit of a view. A nice view. You can almost jump off there, but you never know what's in the water. So quick update, we're still hiking, as you can see. We're almost back to the truck. It ended up being a 15 kilometer loop. And uh, we obviously didn't make it to that other stop that we wanted to do. It was actually further off the trail than we had anticipated. It was gonna be about 500 meters off the trail, to get down to the lake. We're gonna get back to the truck. We're gonna go back to the trailer. We're gonna have a large drink of water. And then uh, we're gonna head over to the beach. And then later tonight, we're we'll going to commute over to that spot we like to swim at. We'll catch up with you in a bit. We made it back. We are exhausted. We had thought that the trail was going to be about 12 to 14 kilometers. Based on the map and then the sign and then a trail app that we had, they all had different distances with a discrepancy of like two to three kilometers. So like a significant amount. By the time we actually got to the end, it turned out to be a 15 kilometer trail. And the sign said that it takes six hours to do it. We did it in three and a half. And I think that's why we were so dead on the way, like laying down on the rock, dying. Perfect. We were going probably a lot faster than we should have been going. Cause we did it in half the time. So we are fried, the dogs are fried. We are going to pack up and we're gonna go down to the beach and just lay down for a second before we go out and canoe later and do more stuff. See you at the beach. We made it down to the main beach. We decided to play a game of crib. Well, we went in the water first, but then we decided to play a game of crib and Jeff actually won for the first time. First time. Literally for the first time. He never wins a crib. But I totally skunked her in crib, if you know what that means. Yeah, he did do that. That's the first time ever. Yeah, first time I ever skunked Yeah, her. literally first time ever. So we are going to go back in the water now. We're going to go on a canoe ride and we're going to go over to the spot 
that we were talking about going to on our hike that we couldn't get to. So we're gonna go on that tonight. See you there. It takes forever. It's full of dirt. Which way does this go? I need help. to the rock finally as promised uh, it took a while to get here like we said before we thought the trail over there was going to be close enough to come past this area but it wasn't so we decided to instead go to the beach which we did and then we uh, paddled out here on the canoe and then we proceeded to jump in the water <laughs> like a couple of kids <laughs> we always do that off this rock usually cannonball i yeah. always cannonball you always I dive in. Dive in yeah. yeah that's not for me it's too dangerous at the bottom i don't know what's down there water's nice and warm cold in some spots probably warm just where i'm swimming around jeff maybe he's being who knows i got bit by a couple horse flies yes yeah, sir the bugs are insane here yeah. very bad mosquitoes but, aren't terrible it's the deer flies no. and the horse flies the mosquitoes were terrible when we were hiking yes they were bad it is a lovely night out tonight it's like probably i don't know 27 degrees 25 degrees celsius very calm not very windy it's just a really nice night out right now great time for a canoe we were going to bring the dogs but they're very tired so they're sleeping, so we came alone. Which is good, because then there's no risk of tipping the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are just gonna swim around for a bit, and then we're gonna pack up and paddle back, and then we're gonna make dinner, which is bruschetta, 
and steak. Steak and corn on the cob. Nice. And I made a sourdough baguette for the bruschetta, so I'm very excited about that. We'll see you back at the campsite. to die down a bit to put our steak on. We are having some bruschetta that I just made. I'm just gonna basically eat the rest of the night away. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Play some cards maybe. Well, how is it? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. We have corn on the cob cooked in the husk. We have steak with barbecue sauce that I made maybe like a month ago or so. Oh my god, it smells so good. Corn is shadowing your face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
we are done, we're packed up, we are leaving. Our overall experience, well I won't speak for Jeff because he can tell you his own overall experience, but I've been coming to this park for years and I love it. It's one of my favorite parks. I have discovered this weekend that it is not what it used to be at all. It is insanely busy, very loud, and I would much rather be at the cabin where there are no people making noise. How was your time? It was good because I got to hang out with you. <laughs> I had a good time. I always enjoy going camping, but I do agree it's not quite what it used to be. They call it Silent Lake. Uh, one reason being is you're not allowed motor motorized equipment on the lake, but it used to probably be a lot quieter too as far as um, camping goes. These, these parks are getting more watered down from larger cities, like people coming up here and using them. So you have people that just there to kind of like, you know, play loud music and party a bit. I don't know, we don't like campsites like that. So. I remember we used to be able to drive up here same day and be like, hey, I'd like to camp here for four, four days, five days, whatever. And they'd be like, no problem, here's a site. I had to book this site in February and it is packed. It's packed. Anyways, we are packing up now. We're on our way out. We are going to stop at the cabin real quick. Then we are gonna, we're gonna stop and go swimming somewhere. Yeah. We're gonna pick a spot on the side of some lake, I don't know, and we're just gonna go swimming. And then get some french fries. Yeah, we're gonna stop at a fry truck. That's what we're doing. And then we're going home. Yeah. And we don't want to sound like a couple of negative Nancys, but <laughs> we do like our privacy and our quietness. And yes. I guess it's just kind of like, you know, that's the risk you take. There's people here doing their thing, so I can't really fault them for that. Someone's alarm clock on their phone, two hours it went off this morning. Yeah. Two hours straight. Oh my God, one of the dogs started. Yeah. Okay, windows down. Okay. Anyways. We're done for this weekend, so we will see you next time. Cheers. Bye.